Hi everybody, Dr. Mel here. I'm going to share two stories with you about all of this false reporting about the coronavirus. And after my little commentary here and testimonial, I'm going to show you the motorcycle accident that happened in Florida that they claim was coronavirus, the news clip for that. Anyway, two occurrences of people that I personally know, and one of them has to deal with the St. Joseph Hospital in Tucson, where a very good longtime friend of mine, daughters, died in that St. Joseph Hospital, it was through basically complications from living a street life, had nothing to do with the coronavirus, was hospitalized the last two months, and they put the cause of death coronavirus. Well, when the mother saw that, my friend saw that on the birth certificate, she just blew up. She had a fit, started crying like crazy because the hospital put the cause of death as coronavirus and not what really happened to this individual. The other case was here in Costa Rica where they are testing a lot of more people now. And to be tested, you have to stand in line for hours. So this guy was standing in line. He must have already checked in and he was been in line for an hour and a half and says, screw this, I gotta go. I gotta do other errands. I have to do other things. So he left the line. He gets a call a week or two later telling him that he tested positive for the coronavirus. He says, well, wait a minute, I was never tested. I left the line. Why are you telling me this? See, even in Costa Rica, this crap is coming down here. The pharmacies have control over the medical system here. The president is so corrupt. He's just a puppet of the United States implementing the world order plans down here. The central bank takeover, the repossession of this country is all being worked on. Yikes, but first, check out this false report from Little Rock, Arkansas. Coronavirus kills two in meth lab explosion. They're putting these two druggy tweakers the cause of their death is the coronavirus being burnt up in a meth lab. Now let's get to the motorcycle guy. accident. New questions tonight about the accuracy of the state's coronavirus death numbers. Orange County Health Same Officer fact. Dr. Raul Probably Pino so. telling us it's one person so. reported to have died from COVID was killed in a motorcycle accident. So was it removed from the data? I don't think so. I have to double check. We were arguing. We were discussing. We were discussing and trying to argue with the state. Not because of the numbers. I mean, it's a hundred. It's not make any difference if it's 99. Yeah. But the validity that the fact that the individual didn't have, didn't die from COVID-19, dying in a crash. Okay, in conclusion to this uh, short video here, you have to have the first premise, the very first thing you need to understand that the people that are telling you about this pandemic are the world's biggest criminals, liars, thieves, murderers, destroying countries, destroying hospitals, schools, and utilities that have lied to you for centuries, that have engaged in wars and have never won a single war. These are the people that are telling you about this pandemic. You can't believe them. This is why I don't believe in the moon landing, in the round earth theory, because once again, the whole theory is, the first premise is, the people that are telling you this are the world's biggest criminals, the world's biggest liars and thieves. Plus, let's add about the world's biggest drug traffickers controlling the heroin opiate market of the world. These are the same people that intentionally put the opiate pandemic, the opiate addictions in the United States and around the world. These are the same people that are telling you about this coronavirus. Why would you believe them with centuries of lies, buildup of lies, instilling lies to propaganda, using the media to instill all these lies? Why would you only believe what they're telling you about this pandemic? You have to always consider this first. This would be the first premise when you are viewing Anything on the media, the mainstream media, you have to consider the source. These people are, are the world's biggest criminals and liars. I'm Dr. Minow. Even with the whole 
disorder, entropy going on around the world, I still wouldn't be anywhere else. Um, I still feel pretty safe down here. Pura Vida from Costa Rica.